think right now might be the only night of the week where people are going to tune in and see Milwaukee and Brooklyn <laughs> on one accord you know what in I'm perfect saying? harmony. Because we smacking them up right now. Huey ain't been talking nothing. Yo, he ain't say nothing. Boy, oh, boy. When they smacked up Miami, he was riffing like, yeah, we, we lit. Brooklyn, I didn't hear one word. Man, it's looking scary. So without further ado, let's bring in our guy from Milwaukee. That's Huey right. V. Huey V. Bring him in, Regina, please. Oh, man. Man, you treat you treat my home team like that. <laughs> <laughs> I got to kid BK. You know how we yeah, do it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I seen the scoreboard and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep quiet right now. I'm gonna keep quiet. I ain't gonna post on the internet right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Them them boys was down like 40 points or something the other night. I said, Ooh. Jesus Christ. It's bad man, it was bad. I was trying not to pay attention to it too much. I just I just so happened to check in. I think it was like the second quarter at the time. It was looking bad. It was looking bad. I was like, you know what? I ain't even gonna watch this. K K D is not um he's he's not gonna let another ring slip through his finger. K D he he's a man on a mission. Nah, 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 but it's still early. It's still early. Man, you know, it's we, Brooklyn. We, man. Phase. You know, we we, 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 we taking this first. one. I'm gonna yeah, be yeah. at the parade too. You gonna be there too, Huey. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For fact. Yeah. You be at the Brooklyn parade. Don't worry, Huey. I got you. Oh, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Bleak, you find yourself a diamond in the rough with this with this guy, Huey, man. Um, how did how did how did this union first of all? Let me tell everybody, we was talking about this before the interview started, before we went live, I believe before we went live, is that people don't know that with Bleak, he got one of the best ears. Um Ever, you know, like he picked oh, a lot of the singles. Um, he he put the executives such as Jay Z and L. A. Reid onto a lot of different artists. Like, if you ask Rick Ross, I'm gonna tell you that Bleak is the one who heard Ross and brought him to Hove and and Def Jam. And you know, you listen to um Bleak's album Round Here, giving Ti one of his first. Major, major. <laughs> this is this is might have been Ti like before Rubber Band Man or Round yeah, Town yeah. Rubber Band Man. It was twenty four Ti. Yeah, That's the this he is, had out was that uh, that was the only song he had out was twenty four. Yeah, so you know, Bleak got one of the the great ears. He always keep his ear to the street. How'd you find Huey? Uh, Huey V came through another mutual friend. Shout out my man Warehouse J. You know, like he knows some girl out in Milwaukee. I still yeah, haven't yeah, met. Yeah. And the girl hit him up. It was like, yo, I know you fuck with Bleak and them, but I need you to bring this artist to Bleak and let him hear it. So he called me. He's like, yo, Bleak, listen, I got this artist from you from Milwaukee. I think he dope, but I need you to hear it. Let me know what you think. So I'm like, yo, J.I., right, man, send me the record, man. You know, we listen to artists all the time. Let me hear what this kid got. So when I heard the record, I'm like, let me play it again. So I listened to it. I called my man Jay back. Yo, you got shorty phone number? He like, yeah. I'm like, yo, get Huey on the phone. So we get Huey on the phone. I'm like, yo, my G, what's up? Yo, did you sign a contract with anybody? Like, I'm like, even Tupac style on a napkin. I don't care if you did a handshake deal. Did you ever do anything? He like, no, I never did nothing. I just stayed to myself. I'm like, yo. Send me a few more records. If you got three more records that sound like this, we'll hit you back. He sent me a couple more records. I called him back. The next day, he was on a flight to New York. Wow. Milwaukee, man. Um, listen hey, to this to this project. Yeah. Every Everybody, um, make sure you listen to this project as above, Huey V. Um, right. At some points in the, in the project, man, no pun intended, is very bleak, it's grim. You know, but it's um absolutely heartfelt truth. Um to me the, the, the greatest the greatest artists are the ones where you could you could really feel that they speaking the truth, whether it's a sad truth, whether it's a happy truth, you know, you see I got that Mary J. Blige yeah. in the back of me, like they don't come any realer than, than Mary J. And I'm I'm just listening to this this project all the way through. And I'm like, damn, I ain't no uh, 
Milwaukee was so crazy like that, man. Shout out to my guy Shake out there in Milwaukee. But um, you know, it's it's uh it's it's the life, man. Tell me about growing up in Milwaukee, like like coming from your area. Growing up, it it, it it's kind of like I don't know, man. It, low key, at, at the time that I was coming up, it was it was it was dangerous, but it was still like super fun. Like it was like basement party almost. Like it gave me kind of like '90s vibes. You know, you go to the basement party, uh-huh. like that everybody out there, you know, at your where whatever street or whatever block you from. You know, you over there posting. You might be from like the north side or from the north side. You know, low trays, low trays. Um, you might be uh, have some niggas from the east side and shit like that out there. And you know, they stay to their side and shit like that. It was kind of like that. Um, you know, niggas had like uh, dance wars and stuff like that too. You know, like cute kids out the streets. You know, you get up with your team and stuff like that. Go to the dance wars. You know, try to battle for some money and shit like that. But for the most part, like you see a you see a lot of people just trying to find a way. You know, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people don't necessarily know what their calling is out there. Um, you know, people are, are very in a in a process and lost um, from what it appears to be. You know, just just because it ain't so many like avenues and stuff like that outside. So you know, you get a couple people who get blessed. You know, and try to make that example for others and stuff like that. But we ain't really got too many people coming out of Milwaukee. So like, yeah, you know, I I definitely try to do my best to like. You know, reach my hand back out, um, try to give as much information and shit like that for niggas to make a way for themselves too. 